if you think Photoshop is just drag and drop, you're about to be surprised. Because in this breakdown, you'll learn how to draw professional and realistic rim lights like a pro. Stay with me till the end to uncover all the secrets. Let's peel the layers one by one. I tried creating this dreamy lights effect in Photoshop using Professional Player. You already know who it is, none other than Mbappe. To get started, our goal was to make him pop inside these dreamy lights. First, I took an exposure adjustment layer. You can find in the adjustments drop down menu and slightly increase the exposure. This created a brighter background. Next, I grabbed a soft brush, set the layer to linear dodge, and painted over him. But remember, this was just for the background. Later, we'll export the subject separately above the background. For the lighting effect, I painted softly above the subject's head to simulate light approaching him. To add more depth, I place a white light in the center and change its blending mode to linear dodge. Now comes the crazy part. I cut out the subject separately and made some camera raw adjustments, like increasing contrast, shadows, vibrance, clarity, and texture to bring more focus. We needed him to look a bit darker, so I added a hue saturation adjustment layer and slightly reduced the lightness. Then came one of the most exciting parts, applying exposure adjustments with a layer mask and manually painting the highlights where the light would naturally hit. Now, the most crucial step, the secret behind almost every professional sports graphic, dodging and burning. For this, many use curves or levels. My favorite method is using a curves layer. I added a curves adjustment, lowered the curve to create shadows, and painted in the darker areas. For the highlights, I made another curves layer, increase the curve, and painted where I wanted the light to pop. And now the magic, the rim lights. Before we move into the rim light magic, if you're enjoying this and want more sports design and thumbnail breakdowns and tutorials, make sure to subscribe. There's a lot more coming soon. To make this easy, just follow these steps. First, create a black fill layer, press Alt plus Backspace. Change its blending mode to screen. Then, add a gradient map from the adjustments panel. Set the gradient from black to white, adjusting the middle tones carefully. I actually have a special pack of highlight gradients. If you want it, just DM me on Instagram and I'll share it with you. Once you set the gradient map, clip it to the black fill layer and start painting gently with a soft brush on the areas where light would naturally hit. Focus on the arms, jersey edges, and contours. Next, to bring in some colored lights, I created a solid color layer, set to red, change its blending mode to linear dodge add, and lightly paint it around the bright areas. Then, I added another exposure adjustment to bring even more depth, plus a final linear dodge add layer on top of the subject to really make him shine. To finish the piece, I added some dust particles, applied a slight motion blur for movement, and placed a color overlay to bring all the colors together with a pop. Finally, with a few last camera raw adjustments, the subject popped beautifully against the dreamy lights. And here's the final result. Let me know if you learned something new and if it was worth subscribing. If you love sports design and want more breakdowns and tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. More epic tutorials are coming soon.